Hello everybody and welcome to the Attack on Titan Tribute Game Tutorial Series. Today's video is going to be all about maps and basically for all intents and purposes in the game there's two maps. There's the city map and there's the forest map, okay? And each of these has multiplayer versions and single player versions. The first map that I'm going to be talking about is city. Basically city is Feng's uh, resized version of Trost because, you know, for a small scale game like uh, Attack on Titan Tribute game, it's hard to build a complete replica. So, you know, much like the characters that we play as, this is basically a chibi version of Trost. When you're playing single player, you're going to know this level more as old level 2. And basically in city, there's a high building density and they're all pretty small buildings. And what you can do with this is you can easily carry yourself forwards at very fast speed. But the thing is, because there's so many buildings, it's hard to find titans, especially in multiplayer, where the spawn is kind of... you can't know the spawn of 32 titans very well. Because of this, it's often very hard to find the very last titan. And what you can do is F currently locks onto the nape of a titan, right? Even if you don't think that you should need it, what you can do is you can spam it um, as you're moving around the city and if you're near a titan then it will just automatically move your camera so that you are locked into the titan. Once the camera moves you basically know where that last titan is. Another thing you can do is you can use the surrounding buildings to basically aggro titans and move them around so that some of them get blocked behind buildings whereas others actually follow you to another location. And by using that, what you can do is you can isolate different titans uh, from a group and that allows you to uh, kill titans faster, basically. Another thing that you can do pretty usefully, because the city is full of rectangular, very rectangular buildings, um, what you can do is you can use the corners to build speed when you're turning. Now this might be kind of difficult for you guys, um, dummies, as the series is designed for, but once I bring out my 3DMG movement video, which should be next in the series. Um, you guys will understand what I'm trying to say. Basically, what I see a lot is people don't know how to use the corners in city map, and they just crash into the building before they can actually turn perfectly. So yeah, city is very useful for building speed when you're turning. One last piece of advice that I can say is that you should probably stay low because there's not a lot of cover that you can get in the air. And if a jumper, if you find a jumper on um, City, right, it has free access to you basically. You can't move yourself in the air very effectively. So the jumper's probably gonna get you because of that, and that probably be the end of you. And you know, when you stay low, you get a lot more maneuverability because the buildings themselves are pretty low. But if you do need to uh, move around on the ground, then stick to the rooftops because running on the ground probably isn't the best idea because of the because there's so many buildings that it's hard to see whether there's a titan just around the corner that could windmill you or titan do you um, into non-existence. In terms of multiplayer, there's currently three maps in the game. There's City 1, where you have to kill 32 titans. It's almost like an, an expanded version of the single player map. You have to kill 32 titans without a respawn and without supplies. That's City 1. City 2 is the same thing except you ha you do have respawns and you do have supplies. And the last map is called Colossal Titan and basically this is a boss fight of which there are currently two in the game and basically the Colossal Titan breaks down the gate and you have to kill him um, before the admirants get to the other side of the town. Uh, don't worry about the boss fights though because I'm gonna do a tutorial video on that uh, later and I'm going to talk about how to attack the uh, Colossal Titan and stuff like that and how to deal with the Aberrants as they run towards the North Gate basically. What you can see here is the spawn locations for each of the Titans in single player, okay? I don't know the all 32 Titans spawn on the city multiplayer so don't ask me uh, to create a map for that as well. But basically what you should do is you should go up the middle, uh, kill that singular Titan turn left around the corner and up to those two titans that are standing pretty close to each other then go to the top left from there those two titans are actually separated by buildings so you can take them on one at a time and then from there move right to the two titans that are making out and there's the aberrant third wheel basically and from there move right again to the crawler um there's going to be a tutorial on how to kill the crawler so don't worry about that 
and from there move down to the other two titans and from there to the very last titan which is also an aberrant. What you can see here is the um, forest map and if you're keen eyed the first thing that you'll notice is the fact that the titans and the aberrants and the crawlers all spawn in exactly the same location so you can basically do the exact same pattern for the forest as you did to kill the um, titans in city. That being said, once you go into the actual forest level, you notice that it's by far the better looking level, especially with colour and um, at full graphics with like shaders and stuff, you'll definitely realise that Feng and Cheng have definitely done a, a fantastic piece of work here, um, and it looks absolutely fantastic. On top of that, um, the forest is full of big ass trees, as Levi was quick to describe it, and um, there's a lot of open space between those trees as well and between the two of those factors it is in fact excellent for 3d mg um, in game uh, basically there's a lot of things that you can aim at there's a lot of things that um, you can hook onto and get away with uh, and there's a lot of ways that you can balance yourself out using 3d mg so that you can get to a titan snake from virtually any angle um so yeah some advice that i can give you on the forest is that do not run do not ever ever run because not only is 3dmg faster but it's also safer um the fact of the matter is that uh unlike city forest is very open right there's a lot of space that the titans can walk through which means that they can easily walk to wherever you are and this is especially true in the forest multiplayer maps where the titans are always aggroed onto you they spawn into the game aggroed onto you um, so you have to be sure to kill them quickly, otherwise you'll find a whole lot of them walking in a big group and just staring down at you, basically. Yeah, and um, some other stuff that you can do with 3D MG inside the forest is that when you're reeling, um, you can use it very effectively to just shoot across to the other side of the map because there's not a lot of things that get in the way uh, if you've aimed properly. And if you're wondering what reel is, it's basically when you scroll down uh, as you're hooked onto a surface. Um, I'll go into detail more on that in the next tutorial video, which is all about 3DMG. In terms of multiplayer, there's currently four maps. There's Forest 1, which is where Titans keep spawning in, spawning in, spawning in, and you have to kill more of them than they kill of you. That's Forest 1, and there's no gas, so if you want to refill, then you just have to sacrifice yourself. Then there's Forest 2 and 3, okay, and these are basically the same. There's 20 waves that you have to go over and each one has a each one has one more titan so wave one has three times wave two has four times wave three has five times so on and so forth and by the time you get to the end of it there's 250 titans that you should have killed and forest two and three is very hard to solo and it's really fun in multiplayer um and it's by far the most popular map on public servers so you'll probably be playing forest three a lot and the very last multiplayer map is uh, called annie and this is the other boss fight in the game and it's basically where you fight the female titan um, in the forest map just like in the anime and she is difficult she's by far the more difficult boss between her and the colossal titan and i don't i don't know if i can do a very good tutorial on her because uh, whenever i've played her it's been more about luck than actually about the skill um, especially in multiplayer so we'll see how well that goes okay guys i really didn't want to do this very last level and there's a reason i wasn't talking about it before this because i absolutely hate this level and i don't think you should ever play it at all just don't click on it just don't think about it and this level is called level one okay the reason i don't like level one is because the, it's it's the first level that any new player will play okay they'll go into the game they'll say oh i wonder how i can get better at playing this game because this is the first time i'm playing it so they'll say oh well i'll do single player because multiplayer will probably be stupid i'll play with sasha because she's my favorite character um i'll play on normal because hard sounds ridiculous and abnormal just sounds stupid and stop and what they go into is a small white room okay they go into a white room that's shining because of the shader effect, right? Because of that, they can't actually see any of the UI on the screen. Uh, on 
top of that, the map is far smaller than either city or forest. And there's 32 titans in there, which is equivalent to city multiplayer. So Feng is basically asking us to solo the same amount of time as a multiplayer level. And he's asking us to do it in a smaller map, so that there's a greater titan density, which means not only is the map harder, but it's also laggier than city and forest. So overall, it's just a terrible map for any player to play, let alone a dummy. So just don't ever click on it at all. And the same goes for training, which is which takes place in the same map, but the titans don't move, which is absolutely useless as training, in my opinion. But that's for another day, I guess. That's a brief breakdown of each of the maps. What I really wanted to show with this video is that each map, and by that I mean forest and city, I don't mean level one, has a different feel and a different um, vibe to it. You know, forest is a lot more active, it's a lot more um, fast-paced, you have to kill the titans before they get to you. It's that kind of uh, adrenaline rush, whereas city is more they are the food and we are the hunter kind of thing, uh, where they're just kind of lounging around, uh, hoping to find a human, and you are going out and killing them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this uh, second video in the Attack on Titan Tribute Game Tutorials. Uh, be sure to leave a like, um, comment, subscribe. I don't get very much comments, so I'll probably reply to any questions or concerns or comments that you have. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something today. In my opinion, this was the first tutorials video that actually made, um, that actually had something important to say, other than just this is Jean, and his special is to freak out of a Titans group. This is Aaron, and so on and so on. That probably got boring pretty easily. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.